show must go on. <laughs> Hello, it's Jeanette Che Beauty and welcome to my channel. I miss saying that and I miss you all so, so, so much. I just miss all of your support, your feedback, your positive energy. I miss it so, so, so much. I did not anticipate being gone for two months. I know, I have been in and out 2023, 2022. Many of you know I am a mother. I'm a busy mother. I'm a mother of five. Nonetheless, there's just never a dull moment in my household. A lot has happened. 2023 has just been a year for me. I mean, we're in 2024, but last year there has been so many things that have happened, good and bad. I will say 2023 was my most trying year. My son was born, well, my fourth son was born. Many lessons that I've had to learn the hard way and I think me learning the hard way really capitalized on how important it is. What I thought I could change, or I don't wanna say what I could change, but maybe who could change, it's just not happening. And I had to take a mental break just to get myself together because 2023 did not end on the best note. Well, New Year's, it was really good. Ugh. I don't wanna make this video about what happened. This is not a like update. I just want to address my absence and then we'll get right into the video. So if you don't wanna hear, just skip to this part right here. But trigger warning, I was assaulted by my children's father. It just was not good at all. The dynamic between us is tumultuous. I just had to deal with it. I'm still dealing with it. I just wish a lot of things didn't happen the way it did, but you know, you live and you learn. I believe God has a reason for everything through the struggle, through the storms. That's just what it is. If that wasn't bad enough, <laughs> I got an ear infection right after my baby, he got pneumonia. My daughter had pink eye and of course taking care of her, I got pink eye. The baby got pink eye, two of my sons got pink eye, so five of us, right? Yeah, five of us got pink eye. It was just a lot. Just thinking about me having to stay strong and take care of everyone. Of course, going to court, back and forth. I am almost through it. I'm still going through some legal recourse. I don't wanna guilt shame myself because learning what I have learned it is a whirlwind. Maybe I'll make a video about it in the future. This could be my testimony, and I think it serves many women. Looking at me, you would never, ever, 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 ever guess what I have been through in my life. I'll just say that life is a life in. I think now I'm in a more safe spot that I could start making content again. I enjoy it. I love making content. I really do. So that is not going to go anywhere. I want you to know any video I make is coming from my heart. That's why I don't just put whatever out there. I want to make sure that it's authentic, that it's genuine, that I have a story to tell. Even though it may be like a wash day video, I still want you to get some good information from a wash day video, my weight loss videos. I have some weight loss videos coming. I mean, there is an array, a plethora of videos from hair, beauty, fashion, even money, saving money. I just wanna give you a lot of tips. I know I said a mouthful, just bear with me. <laughs> I just thank every one of you for staying with me through thick and thin. It's my life. <laughs> All right, now into the video. So with that being said, I have neglected my hair, unfortunately. I mean, with everything going on, taking care of my hair honestly was the last thing on my mind, so. This is what we're working with. Oof. I've been putting scarves on my hair if I go out. I may do my edges so it looks a little presentable. And even if I put my hair up in a, not a ponytail, but just put it in an elastic, I have all this new growth. And I haven't washed my hair since December, mid-December of 2023, and here we are mid-February. So that's two months. I have been using my oil. So I think that's why my scalp is not flaky. I don't have like flakes in my, scalp, it's not itching, any of that, but you can see like, all this new growth. So I would say like about here, I think that's pretty good. And even some of the twists, they didn't came out. But this is how my hair is looking. Some twists, they look good on the ends. See, this is why twirling the ends matters. <laughs> 
They look good. They look good. But I'm just living 2024 positive mindset. I am going to church. I'm reflecting more. I am building and strengthening my faith because with everything that's going on, I know. I know I would not be able to get through it without God. My life would be in ruins right now. <laughs> I laugh as a coping mechanism. It's not really funny, but it's it's what I do. My hair is, I mean, it's okay. It's not dry. My scalp is not itchy at all. I just wanted you to see what my hair looks like after two months. I'm here with an array of tips. I just want everyone to win. I want everyone to get what you desire. So whether you want longer hair, stronger hair, healthier hair, just a healthier scalp, whatever it is, you come to my channel, I want you to leave with some information that is going to help better your life. So this is me, this is what we're working with. So I'm gonna show you a full wash day and I'm gonna style my hair. Originally I was gonna do a twist style or a twist as a protective style, but I'm like, y'all deserve something better. Y'all deserve a style. So I'm gonna do a wash day and then I'm going to style my hair something, jazz it up. I mean, you know me, if you've been rocking with me since 2016, I wanna say, you know, I am, all about adding jazz and bedazzle and glamming it up. <laughs> so I wanna do something a little fun. <laughs> Starting on these two month old twists and I don't think they look bad for being two months but you can definitely see that new growth so yay to healthy hair. This is why I love twisting my hair as a protective style. It's a no manipulation. I do put some oil on my scalp and down the length of my hair but I could just let my hair be. Let it relax and it'll grow. Now for step one, which is to pre-poo, and I love pre-pooing my hair. Ever since the beginning when I started my channel, I have talked so highly of pre-pooing the hair. You will reap so many benefits, no matter if you're using an already made product or you decide to make your own cocktail. I will list some of the benefits of pre-pooing down below in the description box. Now that I have my quadrants, I'm going to detangle my hair. I'm using this Pattern Beauty Mr. Bottle just to spray some water on my hair, water alone, because I love to damp detangle. Damp detangling really helps with this process because it adds a little slip to the hair. It also helps to soften the hair, which is good. You know when the hair is dry, it's more prone to damage and breakage. I want to avoid that at all costs, so I do add a good amount of water and it does help the detangling process go a lot more smoother. I'm using this Olaplex comb brush that I received from them. I didn't see it on their website, but I will link another one down below in the description box. Also here, I put a little tip. Moisture really helps the detangling process be a lot easier, and it helps to remove tangles, and it helps to soften the hair. I really love when I give my hair that TLC. It really makes a difference. Now for my pre-poo, I'm using one of my favorites, the African Pride Pre-Shampoo Treatment. If you know me, then you know this product. I love the way it clumps my curls. I love the way it helps to detangle. It smooths the hair. I have shine. And also when I do rinse it out in the shower, my hair, it feels so good. It feels very healthy, hydrated, soft. And I could tell that my hair, it has a lot of resilience due to this product alone. I've been using it for years and this is one of my staple products, hands down. I'm gonna continue to unravel each twist and apply the pre-shampoo treatment and further detangle my hair. I'm just gonna let the music play and enjoy. <laughs> Real quick, real quick, but you can see how well this pre-shampoo treatment is clumping my curls and adding moisture. This is exactly what I need when I haven't washed my hair in so long that moisture is going to go a long way.
And this back section is pretty much fully detangled and you can see how well the curls are clumping. I'm telling you, this pre-shampoo treatment is wonderful. It's amazing. If you feel that your hair is hard to detangle, use this and you will see the difference the first time you use it. I use it on my children's hair. It works wonders. They love it. It gives so much slip, shine, added moisture, and you know, as a natural, we all need that. After I finish applying the pre-shampoo treatment to all of my hair, it is time to rinse it out with some warm water. And here's how my hair looks with the treatment sitting on it for about 20 minutes while I got ready to go in the shower. I'm using warm water to rinse this treatment out, also in the shampooing process because it helps to remove a lot of the dirt, oil buildup. Also, warm water helps to open the hair's cuticle and I find it best to be receptive with the pre-poo and shampooing phase. I'm sectioning my hair back into quadrants because it's easier to manage and give my hair the TLC it needs this way. Next, for step two, I'm using my scalp scrub. This one is from Zion Health. It's their coconut and vanilla scalp scrub and I love this so, so, so much. I don't really talk too much about scalp exfoliators because I tend to use them once every month to two months, but they are also part of the healthy hair journey. So you know we use a lot of products on our hair, whether it's conditioners, oils creams lotions all of that and a lot of times they could just cause a little bit of buildup even though we're washing you just want to give your scalp a reset this is where scalp exfoliation comes into play this one I have been using for a couple years now I really love it and I will tell you after I rinse this scalp exfoliator off and as you see my curls are still clumped they're moisturized this does not dry the hair out at all but I love the feeling of my scalp. It feels so smooth, like baby soft. <laughs> and I have a little baby, so I can attest to this. My scalp, it just feels so soft. And I notice my products are more receptive towards my roots this way. And my products go on my hair a lot better because I do let the scalp exfoliator run down the length of my hair. Next is step three, and I'm using the Design Essentials Almond and Avocado Moisturizing and Detangling shampoo this is another staple of mine and i have been using the shampoo well not this particular one but this shampoo is so 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 good it's very hydrating and if your hair tends to tangle a lot or you even want to do a little detangling with the shampoo i would advise this one and look how well this curl clumps now when i tell you my hair is so hydrated and moisturized with the shampoo. I am not playing around. I love the way it smells. It's very clean and has like this fruity aroma. It gives me tons of suds, it does not dry the hair, it gives me a lot of moisture. And I love that, especially after I exfoliate it. My hair, it feels clean. It's like a good reset. And when I shampoo the hair, because you do want to shampoo too, I want to make sure I get all the exfoliating properties. So all the compounds that made the scalp scrub, I want to make sure it's rinsed out and then I do a scalp massage because after everything I've been through I definitely need it and I will rinse the shampoo out completely make sure you rinse the shampoo out because you don't want any of that remaining in the hair because it can cause scalp irritation builds up and we don't want any of that And my hair is still hydrated and moisturized after all that shampoo. I know I get a lot of questions if my hair dried out because I use a lot of shampoo, no. Now for step four, I'm using the Amika, the Care Bond Hair Repair Conditioner, another one of my staples. I love using this conditioner because it still hydrates, moisturizes my hair, but more importantly, it really helps to get those curls popping, like really, popping clump together and I love when a conditioner does that. I do put a little bit more water just to make sure the conditioner goes a little further and I'm going to comb the conditioner while it's in. This clip got a little blurry but I still wanted you to get the gist of what I'm doing. I apply a good amount of the conditioner to each quadrant and then I further section it into subsections and twist the hair. I wanna make sure that my hair is getting all of this TLC and the back 
portion of my hair tends to be the thickest. So that's why I divide it into another subsection of hair. I'm gonna comb it thoroughly with the wide tooth comb and twist it. I find that twisting my hair with the conditioner in, it really allows the conditioner to penetrate my hair. Also, it gives my hair that training almost. Like, yes girl, we are gonna clump, we're gonna be amazing curls, and we're gonna have it together. <laughs> And you can see how the curls are clumping here. This is why I love this conditioner. Any conditioner that's gonna get my curls clumped and popping, especially after I rinse it out, is a conditioner for me. And then I'm going Now I'm getting ready for step number five, which is my deep conditioner. I am unraveling the twist when I put the conditioner in and look how hydrated. I mean, my hair feels so healthy, very weighted. The curls are clumped together. I mean, you can't tell me anything. Now for my deep conditioner, I'm using the Bread Beauty Supply, their deep conditioner. And oof, I wish you could just feel my hair. It feels so healthy, very hydrated, and it should, especially after doing all these steps, but I'm taking it a little further. I really want to get into the habit of giving myself that TLC, that self-love that I truly, truly desire and deserve. And this deep conditioner is nice and thick and it goes straight into my hair, no problem. And this is why I love applying my deep conditioner right after I rinse the conditioner out because it just gives me that extra layer of protection, of softness, of security. And that's another tip I have for you. After you rinse the conditioner out with cool water, immediately apply your deep conditioner and just watch it melt right into your hair strands. Like, just look at this. And I did the same process on the remaining quadrants, but my camera battery conked out, but thankfully I do have my phone and I was recording a reel and a TikTok. So make sure to follow me, Instagram, ravishing underscore trusses, and on TikTok, Jeanette J Beauty, if you wanna see more reels, like more short form content, because your girl is active on both. But I am securing my hair with a plastic cap, and I'm going to sit under the hooded dryer for about 10 to 15 minutes. Typically, I would sit under the dryer for 20 minutes with this, but I was on a time crunch. And I got this new hooded dryer from Target by Andis, and I do like it. I've used it two times so far, and my hair, it feels so much healthier. I know I keep talking about it, but the health is just really intensified using this hooded dryer, if that makes sense, and I love it. Also just gives me a time to decompress after wash day, because you know, wash day can be a bit much, almost like a sport. <laughs> I know I saw that meme somewhere, but I'm just unwrapping my hooded dryer for you so you could see how it looks. But this hooded dryer is really good. It's a soft hood, and I can also use it to dry my hairstyles as well, so not just for treatments and also pre-poo because I did use it for a pre-poo which you will see in another video.
Again, make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok because I'm going to be so much more active on there with short form content. But I'm going to rinse the deep conditioner out. You can see how well my curls are clumped together. Your girl is feeling herself. My hair is so healthy. I just can't wait for you to see all the content ideas, like all the videos I have next. Of course, I'm gonna rinse this out with some cold water as close as I can stand it so my hair can retain all the moisture, everything that I just did for this wash day because I didn't do five steps for nothing. I want to make sure that my hair is reinforced with all this TLC. And of course, I use a cotton t-shirt to soak up any excess water. I don't use a towel or a microfiber towel, and that's the end of my wash day. And a sneak peek at what is to come next. I really hope you enjoyed this video. Let me know down below in the comments, and I will see you next time. Bye.